Hey guys, Dusty here. Today I'm reviewing the Asics Nova Blast. So if you're a fan of really cushioned, bouncy feeling shoes, this could be your next one. Okay, so here's my pair of Nova Blast. I was able to pick up a pair in the Tokyo colorway. And to be honest with you, there are two main reasons that I picked up a pair of Nova Blasts. First of all, you can't have too many shoes. And second of all, I really wanted to try this new Flight Foam Blast from Asics. This is a new foam that they've come out with that the shoe is packed with that's supposed to be ultra cushioned and have a bouncy or almost trampoline like effect and it definitely does. I would say the shoe probably, well not probably, it definitely is the most cushioned shoe I've ever put on my foot and there is a ton of that foam so you have a huge stack height in the shoe. You have 32 millimeters in the rear and 22 in the front for a heel to toe drop of 10 millimeters. A men's size 9 weighs in at 9.5 ounces, so actually not that heavy when you consider how big and built up this shoe is. I went true to size, I went with size 9 for this shoe. I've read other reviews out there that say yes true to size and others that say go down half a size. And for me personally, I think I could have went either or. The nine fits me just fine, but I think I probably could have squeezed into an eight and a half, no problems. As far as the upper goes, it's fine, it's adequate. It's an average upper from Asics. It breathes well, it gets the job done, no complaints. Uh, the tongue is a little thinner than some of the other tongues that Asics does, but no issues again. Um, the laces seem to come undone quite often, so I have to double knot these laces quite a bit. So ASICs, if you're listening, fix your laces on Nova Blast version 2. The rubber on the bottom is ASICs AHAR Plus, so it's supposed to be really durable rubber. Uh, there is a little bit of exposed foam on the bottom, but I don't think that's going to be an issue and lead to any premature wear, I hope. Like I said, the shoe features the new Blast foam from ASICs, and, that, and the midsole is what the shoe is all about. It offers something totally new from ASICs. Um, the shoe doesn't feature any gel, unlike a lot of the other models in ASICS lineup. And the shoe really doesn't feel like anything ASICS ever came out with before. So for myself, this shoe is my easy run shoe, it's my long run shoe. I think for a lot of people this is going to be a great all around shoe and this is a shoe that you can train in and race in up to a full marathon. So this shoe is going to slide into my lineup with three other main shoes that I like to use for easy runs and long runs. And those are the Ultra Torn, the Cloud Stratus from On, and the Cloud Swift from On. Just to give you an idea of some of the other shoes that I'm comparing this one to, in my lineup at least. So some of the negatives about this shoe, incredibly unstable. So my first run in this, I chose a course that had some corners and tight turns, and yeah, it was evident going around the first bend that this shoe is very unstable um, and it probably has to do with how much stack height is here and how soft feeling the shoe is. So running in a straight line, the shoe is beautiful. It gets the job done all the time, but any sort of lateral movement and the shoe does not shine. <laughs> so that might be a trade-off with having such a huge stack height and such an ultra cushioned shoe it's just gonna suck at taking corners. So not only is it unstable in that sense, but it's also unstable in the sense that there's no stability to this shoe. Um, this is for neutral runners only. If you have any sort of pronation or issues like that where you need your shoe to have a little bit of stability, avoid this one. There is no sort of support to prevent your foot from rolling inward on the shoe. But if you're neutral or under pronator, then you'll be just fine in this. As far as price goes, the Nova Blast retails in at 190 Canadian or 130 US. And I think that's a little bit on the high end when you compare it to a lot of the other shoes out there that are in the ultra cushioned category that are great for long runs and easy runs. And you might be paying for a six new shoe that features their new foam, the Flight Foam Blast. So in that sense, maybe maybe it's worth it to try out something brand new from ASICS. What I'm really excited for is to try some new shoes from ASICS that feature this Flight Foam Blast. The Dyna Blast comes out, I think, in about a week of me shooting this video. And the Dyna Blast is going to have a much, well, I don't know if a much lower stack height, but lower stack height than this. So the Dyna Blast, just turning it down a little bit, might be just what I'm looking for. 
But overall, I'm happy with my Nova Blast. I think it's gonna get the job done for me for my long runs and easy runs in the future. And one more thing about the feel of the shoe while you're running. Yes, it's incredibly soft, but it is still fairly responsive. Uh, no, it's not as responsive as, you know, a racing flat or anything like that. But for a shoe that has so, so much cushion, it also has a ton of bounce, which is really cool and really fun to see. And that's something in a lot of other Nova Blast review videos and blogs out there is people say this is a really fun shoe to run in. And I have to say I'd, I'd agree with that. So if you're interested in getting your own pair of Nova Blasts, I'll put a link down below in the description where you can find some. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe for more everything running triathlon and nutrition related.